Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Ryan's Basement. Thank you. Think about that for a second. You, number one, numero uno, you. You're not very important, but you're all you think about, or you are, you are very important. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm taking up time here in this critical video. Uh, this video is for you, and it is uh, yet another trip in Ron's Basement's time machine. I do not have a crystal ball for you. I only have a time machine. And unfortunately, the time machine only goes backwards. Here's what I was thinking about today, or what I looked at today. I was, uh, I'm cooking some ribs, four slabs of ribs, and I was out standing by the grill, freezing, and I started thinking about, yeah, you guessed it, gold and silver. And I just, on my phone, I pulled up, I thought, I wonder what gold was two years ago. Gold was $250 less than it is right now. And then I thought, I wonder what silver was at two years ago, January of 2020, because the time machine goes backwards. Silver was like 18, like $6 roughly less than it is today. And I thought, I wonder what the GDXJ was at back then, two years ago, when gold was $250 less and silver $6 per ounce less. And I pulled that up and guess what? The GDXJ was right where it is today. So today, we've got significantly higher gold price, significantly, significantly higher uh, silver price, but the mining stocks are right where they were. So the point of this video is this. When you're making investments, it's important that we make money, right? We want to make profit, have gains. What's even more important is that we lose as little as possible. And I would almost throw out the um, proposition to you that you know these mining stocks. You know when I'm always I'm always looking for value. I have a friend who says I want to buy a ten dollar bill for five dollars. Right? That we're getting to a point with the mining stocks where the value proposition. You know the 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 margin of safety. There's a book by this guy named Seth Klarman. Costs like a thousand bucks. I read it. I think it's called Margin of Safety, something like that. You know, where the, the downside risk, there is downside risk, no, no doubt about it, but it gets to a point where it's asymmetric and uh, the upside potential far outweighs, like there's small downside risk, right? I mean, depending on the mining stock, some of them, I guess, in theory, maybe could go to zero. Um, but it's real hard for with the with the quality of the balance sheets that these mining stocks have now for them to go to zero they could go down right but man the amount by which they could go up is like multiples of what they could go down like let's say fortuna silver for example it's like 360 a share right now sure Worst case scenario, and I own a lot of it, I don't want to see this happen, but it could go to, let's say, two bucks or a buck eighty, right? And that would really stink. That's like a, you know, 50% downdraft. But it also could go to 12 or 15 in a couple years or in a year. Maybe tomorrow. No, <laughs> you know, but in the future, it could go up significantly. And that's like, you know, you're looking at risking losing, like, let's say, a dollar fifty per share, with the prospect of potentially making nine or ten dollars per share. It's multiples on the upside. So, uh, just some thoughts. Don't make any financial decisions based upon what I shared with you. Yes, you today. Also, don't make any other big decisions. Don't adopt puppies or. Uh, buy a house. Don't do anything based upon what I'm telling you. I'm just sharing my opinions. I hope you enjoyed listening to me. I enjoyed having you here in the basement. You're always welcome, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.